Hey everybody, this is Renaissance Man. Hey, look what I got here. I got me a, a meter. A uh, cross needle SWR power meter. Now, um, I think when, when you're getting into uh, higher power, um, it's probably time to uh, look into getting one of these meters. Certainly, if um, if all you're using is uh, you know handheld stuff, then I, I wouldn't really be too concerned about it. But once you're you know once you're getting into higher power and different bands, um, different antenna setups and whatnot, then it's it's probably time to make an investment into one of these meters now um, let me show you what this guy has in it um, there we go some nice styrofoam for a later project all right, so what we have here is a meter. Okay. Now, what this does is it basically um, it measures uh, SWR, which is. without getting too technical and and I don't I really don't want to um, put this above anybody's head basically it, it stands for standing wave ratio um, essentially this um, <clears throat> sorry I'm just getting over a bad cold uh, basically let me do a demonstration and then it'll be easier for you to understand that way okay so hang on a second, let me grab this here. Alright. This is the antenna and it plugs into the port that's labeled ANT, obviously. And then we'll need a piece of coax cable to patch between the transceiver and the meter. Now, you probably want to use a, uh, you know, a short piece of patch cable. I, I just haven't made one up yet. But, uh, this little 10 piece of junky cable should work for right now. Again, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing anything critical here. You know, it's not like we're running, uh, you know, 50,000 watts on HF with, uh, you know, all the bells and whistles. I mean, we're just running basically, what I'm running here is, you know, 2 meter, 440, and 6 meter with one antenna. All right, so let's power up, and I'll show you what's going on. So I'll put the, put the meter up here. So we can see. Alright. Now. Alright. So anyway. What we're going to look at here. Is. First off. We're going to. Get a flashlight. I have bad lighting in here. Let me see if this helps. Eh. There is a uh, let's just go with this for right now and see what happens. There we go. We should be able to see like that. All right. So what we're dealing with here is um, forward power and reflected power. Okay. 
And what forward power is, is basically the power um, that comes out of the transmitter, all right, runs down the feed line or the coax and out the antenna. That's what you want as far as optimum setup goes, okay? Reflected power is what's coming back to the transmitter um, due to um, a, a change in the uh, resistance in the coax, the length of the coax, there's loss involved there, but mainly it's due to bad uh, coax fittings or a a real bad tuning problem at the antenna itself, like a bad radial, um, bad solder joints. Okay, so basically what we want to do is we want to try to get as much forward power um, from the radio out to the antenna and then out into the atmosphere or the, out into the sky. Okay, and we want to try to eliminate as much reflected power as possible, although there's going to be a little bit. Now, in this case here, what this meter does is it has two, um, it has two needles, and then the needles where they cross, uh, they basically it's one is uh, forward power, the other one's reflected power. And where they intersect, we'll show you what the SWR is. So, um, let me just, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to key up and on the 2 meter calling frequency. And I'm on the high power scale. So the high powered scale, as you can see right there, is... 300 watts okay the low power scale is underneath of it which would be a maximum of 30 watts so what we could do is we could key up in the high powered scale and watch the forward power so it's looking to me like about 38 watts okay a forward power. Now if we look at the needle on the other side there, that's for reflected power, you see it's not even moving at all. Okay, so that means we have good SWR. Now let's say we want to take a better reading. Um, we want to see a little more resolution on the, uh, on the SWR. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the radio into the low power setting which should be 5 watts okay and then we're going to change the meter to the low powered scale which is the 30 watt scale so when I key up I should swing forward power should be around 4, 4.5 watts but then you'll see the other meter come up too watch So as you can see, that's pretty good SWR. All right. Now the standing wave ratio is basically, um, you know, one to one is is basically what you want as far as that's that's a perfect match. Um, once you get higher than that, one point two, one point five, then you want to start investigating to see if you've got. A coax problem or a problem at the antenna with the way it's tuned up or set up. Um, high SWR is harmful to the final uh, outputs on the transmitters. Okay, um, over time and with frequent uh, transmission, 
on a high SWR setting, or actually with high SWR condition, um, you will ultimately um, weaken the finals in the radio and eventually uh, kill it. So when we're talking about power uh, and we're talking about different operating bands, so in this case we have uh, 2 meter 440. Now this meter that I bought is rated uh, let me see here this meter here is the JTW2HF so it'll handle uh, 30 watts or 300 watts uh, low power high power and the frequency is 1.8 megahertz to 200 megahertz so basically I decided to go with a meter that would give me coverage in the HF uh, up through 6 meters which is 50 megahertz um, 2 meter which is uh, 144 megahertz I'm not really all that concerned about UHF um, the 440 band because I, I very rarely use the 440 band um, also, it, this gives me uh, a meter that I can use down the road when I do decide to add HF to my uh, rigs. So if, I, so if I go and get an HF rig, um, I'll already have a meter that I can use with that gear and those antennas. Um, so this gives me some forward upgradeability for lack of a better description and obviously with the six meter rig uh, we're gonna go ahead now and um, we'll take the patch out of the ASU and we'll patch in the uh, we'll patch in the MFJ six meter rig as soon as I can find the hole. Find the hole. That's what she said. All right. So there's the hole. Uh, speaking of all this stuff with this moving coax around and stuff, I know it's a pain in the ass. Um, shit. Uh, Ray is going to build himself a homemade coax switch yeah, it's right here there you go check it out I got the stuff I need already I got the SO239 jacks toggle switch little work box from radio check and I'm gonna uh, that'll be an upcoming video here in the next couple of days. I'm going to build a, basically I'm going to build a homemade AB switch. So I have one antenna outside and I have two radios. And I'm sick and tired of unscrewing coax out of the back of the radios. You know, when I want to talk on 6 meter or if I want to talk on 2 meters. So, um... I'm building myself a box so that I can plug the antenna into here in, into a connector and then over here on this side there'll be a connector over here and a connector over here feeding each radio and then on top I'll have a toggle switch A and B so a video is coming up with that shortly anyway getting back to this all right, so now we got the six meter rig piped in, and what we want to do is we want to uh, make sure that we're on the low power scale, and let me turn off this light again so we can see this meter face. Okay, so let's just... Okay, so let's go back to
Huh. Interesting. Maybe I have something unscrewed. There's the antenna. Patch cable. And here's this patch cable going up into the six meter radio. And let's see what we can see here. Let's turn this off. Alright. Test. Okay, here we go. So, sideband. That means you got very, you got no carrier. Basically, this is a 10 watt rig, 10 watt radio. Okay. So we key up. Nothing there. But when I talk, test. Okay, you swing it. You see it swing up to 10 watts. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna watch both needles. Ready? Test. And we have a good match there. So six meters, good match. Uh, two meters, good match. Um, everything seems to be functioning pretty well. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way I have my gear set up. Um, so just to, just to do a quick review here. Um, SWR is basically you have uh, forward power and reflected power okay uh, forward power is basically if you got a 10 watt radio you want to get all 10 watts out of the radio out the coax up to the antenna and out to the sky um, if you have a bad piece of coax or a problem at the antenna uh, you will experience high SWR or more reflected power coming back and that will inevitably damage um, the transmitter so if you're you know if you're upgrading your gear and you're getting more power and more um, you know and, and if you're getting like a base antenna and you're getting more power involved you know like there's friends of mine out there that have HF rigs and they have antennas and um, you know it's probably time to invest in one of these meters now I got this on eBay fifty six dollars fifty six dollars okay it's not bad um, I didn't want to buy a used meter so I got that new and that is made by a company out in Ohio called Jetstream um, I'll give you a link in the description box. I bought it from another eBay seller who obviously is a dealer for Jetstream. Now, um, to my friends out there, um, if you are jonesing and you really need to use a meter, send me a PM. And here's how I'll work this. I will, for my friends, I will ship you the meter so you can check your shit out. Uh, you have to promise me that either you'll ship it back to me or you'll ship it on to the next friend that needs it. So that's the deal with that. Okay? I check my stuff out. I'm good. I'm probably not adding anything here in the next whatever. So, you know, basically, I mean, I can leave this set up all the time just to make sure everything's fine. But to be honest with you, I'm not running that much gear to worry about that. I mean, I'm not SoCal. God forbid, you know, he's got a lot of stuff going on. Love him. But, uh, you know, a guy, you know, stuff with all that stuff that he's got yeah you want you want to run meters all the time and antenna analyzers you, you want to be on top of everything but for what I'm doing here it's not necessary so uh, so to my friends if you need to borrow the meter you know how to reach me you know how to get in touch with me and what I'll do is I'll pack it up 
in the box, the original box, with the styrofoam and everything, and I'll ship it to you so that you can make sure your stuff is good. And you just got to promise me you'll ship it back to me or uh, to the next friend that needs it, okay? So, um, this is Renaissance Man, and that's a SWR slash power meter, okay? So everybody have a good week. Take care.